Hi, this tu tutorial is about uh, the NS user defaults class for the iPhone and iPad SDK. Um, you use this whenever you want to store a very small amount of data um, and persist it on the iPhone without uh, having to like create a SQLite database, interact with like a, a, a remote uh, like web-based API or um, you know used any using any kind of text file or anything like that this is a very uh, quick and simple way to store just a few values onto the iPhone um, so we'll start off by initializing a a variable of type NS user defaults I'll call that user defaults and by the way I'm in my view did load uh, function here just because I want to uh, NS log a few values out um, just for testing sake to see that everything's working um, and uh, for initializing an NS user defaults variable we use uh, the standard user defaults method and I'll just go ahead and retain that just so that we can release it whenever we want and now I will say uh, I'll, I'll be uh, after I run the application once I'll restart it uh, just to verify that uh, the data is getting persisted it's not just you know being saved for one a one-time run and then it's completely dumped so I'll just do a quick check to make sure that the key that we're gonna use is not already set and we'll just call this like my key that's going to be the key name that we'll use because uh, basically the user defaults is a dictionary so if you've uh, used NS dictionary this will be pretty familiar to you value for key is uh, used within an NS dictionary so anyway um, if the value for that key in this case my key um, is not set then we'll actually set it and we do that by saying set value my value We'll just put it like one, two, three, whatever. And the key name's my key. And just for testing sake, I'll put in um, an NS log here just saying setting value. Oops. We'll cr close that um, if statement. And then finally, uh, we will NS log the user defaults value for key my key just so that you can see that we have successfully set that value and then we'll uh, remember to release in us our, our user defaults variable okay I'll run it now and if we look in the console here we can see that it said setting value so it did uh, uh, the user defaults value for key my key was not already set, meaning that it had to set the value. It NS logged that, then it NS logged our um, our actual value, so that worked. And then I'm going to try running again, and we should not see setting value, which is uh, it did work because this time our my key value was already set, and so that time it just um, logged the the value out again. So. That's uh, just a basic way to use NS user defaults. It's uh, very nice for um, simple data persistence. And um, if you liked this video, please rate, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.